Thank you for joining me on this episode of Centronomy Abundant Living. My name is Sheba Njage and I'm excited to have this new conversation. A couple of weeks ago, we were done so proud by Elliot Kipchoge. You remember the 159 Elliot challenge, which was fantastic. And we were, many of us were inspired. Many of us were motivated. I remember we were having a Centronomy Nakuru event. And as soon as I saw on Twitter that he had won, I was like, guys, you know what? We have to sing the national anthem. We have to celebrate. And I was just saying, guys, do you know, sometimes we don't, really count our blessings as frequently as we should so we just sang the national anthem and everybody was just singing and we were happy and we were proud because one of us made us proud then i still remember that there's been also a lot of conversation about his team the 42 or is it 41 i think 42 42 pace setters who are running with him, forming that V formation so that he's able to achieve his goals. And all of us, uh, many of us on Twitter, on Instagram, even on our own WhatsApp groups are asking, so who's your pace setter? Today, I want us to think about whose pace setter are you? When I was just thinking about who's my pace setters, uh, I then thought, even before Sheba, you write them down and take their names and celebrate and say, these are the people who are supporting you towards achieving your goals, whichever they are. Let me first think, who am I supporting? Who am I forming that formation in their life so that they can achieve what they want to achieve? Whose pace setter are you? Because many times we are often in the we are often in the space of what are they doing for me? Who's doing this for me? Who's supporting me? Who's celebrating me? Who's doing X for me? You family, when are you coming through for me? Who's coming to my wedding? Who's coming to everything I'm doing? And sometimes it's also easy to forget what are we doing for our own people. Today, I want us to challenge ourselves to map out everyone that we are rooting for in our lives, whether it's for them to succeed in their academic challenge, whether it's for them to succeed in their career challenge, in their business challenge, whatever their challenge is, let's be part of their 42 pace setters. Know who you are supporting so they can also say, I can count on this person. Who's counting on you? Who are you? Not only who are you counting on. And that's a beautiful, when it came to me and I was thinking about it, I just thought, yes, it's time I also think about not only myself for others, but who am I to other people? It ends up making us better human beings. It gives us even more reason to live, more reasons to engage with other people, more reasons to succeed. Because you know what? We cannot do this alone. I still say I congratulate Ed Elude for everything that he did. I know that wherever he is, he's very proud of each and every of those people who came through for him. And I also know if it was them, he would show up for them. Who are you going to show up for? Whose pace setter are you? See you next week. Switch on the notifications. Let's have these abundant conversations. Bye.